I started off with my YouTube channel doing fitness routines and health and fitness tips to be able to uh, have a healthier lifestyle. And then the, the book came up in conversation a couple of times and just the whole things, of, all the things that I've learned over the years with diving and being able to see what works for me with nutrition, what works for me with mindfulness, what works for me with goal setting and things that I've learned from traveling to all these different places and actually just being able to write them down and get them into one place and actually think, wow, that actually makes a lot of sense for lots of people, not just in sport. So I just wanted to be able to share some of the things that I've learned over the years through my diving career to help people in school, in work and in everyday life. Cooking has always been something that I've, and food generally is something that I've always been very interested in because if I'm not diving or sleeping, I'm usually eating. I live life for the next meal. Like some of my earliest memories of food is when I used to go to my grandma and granddad's house and we'd make cakes and buns and me and my brothers would argue over who would be able to lick the bowl and lick the spoon and all that kind of stuff. And then I went on to like learning how to make soup and then learning how to make uh, a broccoli pasta bake and that was something that is actually in the book as well is that my grandma's um, broccoli pasta bake is in there because it's something that was passed down and also my mum's sausage casserole there's some like family recipes that are in there too so there's lots of things that I think would probably surprise people that how much I enjoy cooking and find it actually quite therapeutic. As an athlete, it was stre stress and anxiety plays a massive part in what you do uh, because we only we get one chance every four years to be able to be at the best of our um, like career. We have to be training all like six hours a day, six days a week for that one moment, once every four years. So the amount of stress, pressure and anxiety that comes around that one moment is really hard to deal with. And it's only because now I've done three Olympic games that I've learned how to be able to deal with that through mindfulness techniques, thinking about my breathing, being able to go to like a calm place and that's something that it did take me a while to learn. Like at the beginning, I was skeptical of it all. And then it got to the point where I was like doing it every morning to the, and it made me feel so much better about everything that I thought it was something that was then gonna be good to be included in the book because I think mental health is often, you know, neglected. I like to have lots of things to do and not just focus on diving because if diving is the only thing that you're thinking about, it can be quite overwhelming. If things go wrong, then your whole day has gone wrong. Whereas if you've got other things outside of it, for example, I've done cookery school, I do Spanish lessons, I've done a camera operations course, an editing course, um, I enjoy making like my YouTube videos. There's so many things that are outside of the diving pool that I enjoy doing to be able to make, like have other things that I can do outside of the diving pool. To think that I could help anybody in any way like is massively humbling for me. Some people have said to me, the fact that you came out on YouTube has enabled me to be able to tell my parents or been able to tell my friend or whatever it may be. You know, for me, it's very humbling. And even if in sport, like people being able to start diving because they saw me diving on the diving boards is, it makes you just feel, I don't know, it inspires me as well. It really does inspire me to want to do better and, you know, hopefully inspire more people to start diving. After this is I'm back I'm back in the pool already so like everything's a little bit sore getting back into shape and things like that but I've got the World Series coming up national championships world championships European championships leading into the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Well my favorite recipe in the book is my mum's sausage casserole. I think she'd be upset if I didn't say that but it's I do always I try to make it uh, myself and it's good when I make it, but it's never quite the same as when my mum makes it. But I, I have to have her make it every time I go home to Plymouth.